As a researcher, I'm online quite a lot, looking for all kinds of research papers and articles and findings and new information, synthesizing knowledge together in new formats. And someone suggested that I use collab writing to just help me put things together. Let's see what it can do for us. They say on their website, it's a simple tool that helps you find, share and collaborate on stuff you find online. And here's a little video that you can watch. It's been used by a few organizations. And that's interesting. We'll use the free version today and see what it can do. But they also have a paid version, and an enterprise version. With a paid version, it seems like it allows you to um, have a topic history that you don't have with a free plan. And you can export PDF and print topics. Okay, but I think the free version, let's see how far it takes you. Collab Writing has a Chrome extension that you need to install. So just add that to your Chrome browser. And it says here, Collab Writing is a browser extension that helps you create shareable notes and highlights on any web page online. So it seems super, super useful. I installed the Collab Writing little Chrome extension on into my browser. Let's Google something. We look for research capacity and capability tools. And let's open one of these websites. And I'm going to click on this little icon. So what I've done, I installed the Chrome extension and then I pinned it so that it lands up here. Now Let's say we are interested in this conclusion. If you highlight it, you can say create. And then it adds it. So at the moment it's added it to a page that says untitled. Let's see if we can edit this name of this little page. Research capacity. Okay, let's go to another one. Survey tools. Let's see, click on our little extension again. And let's say we found this very useful and we want to say create. We can decide under which list we put it. Let's put it under research capacity. Okay, so you go through a lot of articles and all kinds of different web pages. And then you add all your notes. Once you're done with all your online reading and you highlighted a whole bunch of snippets, you, we have also added them to this list that says the research capacity. So when you log into the Collab Writing web space, you'll find all your snippets neatly organized. And here you can see you can locate them, which will open them up in a new tab, or you can click open and it will open them up here on the side. Here you can comment to say that Brilliant stats idea. And you can add some comments to all these little snippets and notes that you have. And once you are done, here's the best part. You can share it or you can download it as a CSV. You can also copy them as snippets and it will copy them to the clipboard. And then you can go on and paste them in a Word document. And once you've pasted them, it will come out like this with a link to the origin or the source. So you can easily refer back and make sure that you reference properly, you rephrase, you don't use any text as is, and you just synthesize and capture your own ideas based on the, this text. In addition to the nifty feature I just showed you, Collab Writing also have a co-pilot. And here we are on their web page, and I'll leave a link to this Collab Writing Copilot in the description box below this video. And it says the ultimate research copilot. Save hours on market research, competitive analysis, and due diligence. Get early access or watch the walkthrough. Let's try it out. What shall we research today? And we'll add a question in here. 
let's see what it produces. So this was my question, which survey tools do researchers use to determine research capacity and capability in healthcare professionals? And here it produces a whole bunch of studies that had all kinds of different tools. This is very interesting. And then it says save research on the topic. And here we can generate a report and it will del be delivered to your inbox. This is what the report looks like. So you can print it and it has got all the references to these research capacity related studies nicely summarized. So you can click on one of these links and you can download the original source. So this is a nice tool to use if you are looking for research papers and studies on a specific topic. I would recommend that you try it out and decide if it works for you. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.